Hey guys, uh, today I am going to be processing lemons. I have this lovely bag of organic lemons that I like to take care of. Low waste tip, if your produce comes in a bag like this where one end is open and the other end is closed, don't toss the bag, keep it. Roll it in on itself, as so, until you get all the way to the end, and then use it as like a pot scrubber. I was surprised, but they actually work really well to get stuck on food off and then you're not buying anything more to do that task you have it right here good to go will last several uses i haven't thrown one out yet i probably have 10 now because i order most of my produce online and they come like this but low waste tip scratchy okay so i have washed all my lemons because you want to wash everything so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my cutting board aside grab the grater and we're going to grate the skin off the lemons not the white part just the yellow part anything that calls for zest this is what they mean so zest first because it's much easier to do first than after you've juiced the inside out of your lemon. Now we're not looking for perfection, we just want to get as much of it off as we can. enough. So I have two choices here. I can just keep zesting or I can deal with this lemon. I think I'm just going to zest them all and then move on to my next task. There, so I have zested all my lemons. I put them back in this bowl. Um, I grabbed a plate. I grabbed a big plate because I have counter space for it. Um, I would suggest grabbing a plate something you don't care if it's no longer in rotation. If you don't have a plate, you could probably use cooking paper, parchment paper, maybe wax paper. I don't know. I have extra plates for drying things, so that's what I'm using. I'm going to take all my zest, spread it out on this plate, set it aside somewhere where I will see it and remember that I'm drying it. And I'll leave it there for a few days until this is all nice and dried up. And then it'll go in my jar of lemon zest for use in recipes. I suggest only doing organic for zesting, but I guess if you don't have the same health concerns, it might not matter to you. But I'm going to put this aside a lovely amount of zest and then I'll move on to the next one. Okay for the next step I'm gonna take my zested lemons I'm gonna need my cutting board, knife, ice cube tray, and juicer. So I'm going to cut my lemons in half this way so that I can juice them on my little miniature juicer. So my citrus juicer isn't very big it is manual as you can see and it really only does one piece of fruit before it needs to be emptied. Juice the lemon. Set it down. I find running my finger over it helps break any surface tension so that the juice goes down. Seeds all stay in the top. I got my juice and I'm going to fill my ice cube tray. So I'm going to take my finished lemons and I'm going to cut them in half. So now I have quarters. 
and I'm going to throw them in the jar. And I'm going to continue this until I'm done. So I have juiced all my lemons and I have my ice cube tray and part of another one. This one's Batman. But these are going to be the ice cubes that I use for my water every day. So I'm just going to go throw these in the freezer and they'll stay there for a few hours to a couple days and then I'll put them in jars for easy access, easy use. And then I'll just open the freezer, grab the jar, take an ice cube, throw it in my water bottle, put the jar back in the freezer, be done. Okay, for this last bit you're going to want your lemon discards. So the skins, the pulp, all of that stuff in the jar, wooden spoon of course, um, a towel, an elastic band, or you can use a coffee filter. The preferred sugar, um, minus coconut sugar, because I'm not putting really expensive maple sugar in here, and those are the two I can do, and some filtered water. So. I'm going to put just under a quarter of a cup of sugar in here. You could probably get away with doing a lot less. And then I'm going to add filtered water. Then I'm going to stir, and stir, and stir. Mix it all up. So I can add some more water. filter, whatever it is you happen to use, cover it, and secure it. So, we're making vinegar now, because <laughs> why would you waste lemons? So, I'm going to make lemon vinegar, I'm going to come back and stir it every day, hopefully, until it starts to smell like vinegar. Uh, usually when it starts to smell like vinegar, I get a yeast that grows on top, that um, it's not harmful, it's just ugly. That's kind of how I know it's done. It's not going to smell like white vinegar. It is so much better than white vinegar. Um, I'm going to take this batch to work to use to clean my space. And it's going to be delightful. So probably in three or four weeks. Uh, the reason we use a towel or a coffee filter is so that it can breathe. If it can't bring air in as well as let air out, it just turns into alcohol. Uh, we need to ferment past alcohol, so we need to be able to breathe. So I'm going to leave this on the counter where I can see it, and so I can remember to stir it. And in a couple weeks, maybe a month, I will have lemon vinegar. And now we have used the entirety of the lemon. And everything is going to get used. Uh, there will be waste in here after like the used lemon rinds and stuff, but we will be getting the most out of these lemons as we possibly can. Thanks for watching. Bye.